Hey everybody. So I figured I'd do an official unveiling here. So it's been about an hour like this now. I initially glued the back here and then down along the engines and clamped these two sides here. I then ran some glue along each of the edges, clamped that up and this has been sitting for almost 40 minutes now. So I'm thinking it's probably pretty safe. So uh, let's have a look. So it looks like I might have chipped up the surface with uh, the clamps right here, but that'll look like battle damage, so no problems with that. A little bit of a creaking going on, but that's to be expected as the parts settle back into shape. Now that's a pretty solid seam. Can't really torque that around. Uh, so right there is a weak spot, so I'll re-glue that. What else can we look at here? The seams. Well, the seam obviously needs a lot of work. Rather than sand this top part down, what I'll probably do is fill this bottom part up to make it fit. There's some details along there I definitely want to keep. The seam on the nose here was never super great, and I'm expecting it's supposed to be dual layered like this. I'll have to find out but that's easily sanded down as well then it looks like this side I got it a little tight too well these are really bad and obviously so but I expected that to happen and back here you can see how I got a perfect glue seam when I first put this together far too earlier than I should have as opposed to more recently when there's this definite seam down there bit of a seam up here. I don't know if I'll be able to fix that because the angles are so tight there. But no, overall I'm definitely happy. It looks like I could have pulled the back or the bottom a little further back as evidenced right there. That might have set the nose a little better as well. That's okay with all the stuff I've got crammed in here. I'm definitely happy it went together at all. So I worked on this cowling here. I got a thinner piece of metal and basically I just bent it around my thumb to get it to fit a little better. So I'm going to have to get that a little tighter around some of these edges somehow. I doubt I could hammer it into place on there. It's already got some striations going on where it's bending. Hopefully I can smooth those out. This one I still got to cut a new one and then uh, I don't have a panel for down here yet but that's easy enough to get and fit into place. Of course, the one big thing that's missing here is the guns. The originals were made out of resin and really uh, were very warped, so I'm going to have to cut some of my own. And that'll be brass tubes. There's a, uh, a really good instruction set from Ian Lawrence, the guy who mastered this kit, or remastered rather, about he created his uh, guns, and it'll work pretty well, I think. So the big question is power. So let me uh, get the uh, power plugs here and make sure this is still working so far. And we'll check for light leaks while we're at it. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to tell which uh, lead here is positive and which is negative without actually plugging them in. We have lights. Even better, we have all lights. Yellow, red, blue is on, green, and the flashers are working. So uh, let's take a look at this with the lights out and check for some light leak. There's a little bit going on in here. I can see a little bit of yellow. That's okay. There's almost a little bit of blue in here, but I'm not totally sure I'm seeing that. And there's definitely some dead center in the middle there. That could be a tough one to fix. 
And of course there's some blue coming out from the nose here, but that's to be expected. I put the black silicone over all the major LEDs, but that blue one in the middle just pretty much had to stay open. And the white LED on this side, you can definitely see some going in there. Doesn't look like I'm getting any shine through the body, so that's definitely a good thing. So no orange on this side, but there is just a little bit on there, but that'll cover up when I fix that seam. There's definitely some orange running along uh, this seam here, so that'll have to be fully covered whether I can really do it or not. So now I'm pretty happy. This is definitely great. This is one of the reasons why I like building two of a single kit, because I get to experiment and learn on the first one and then do a really good job on the second. So I think that's finally it for this guy. I get to put him away for a few days while I finish off the lighting on the Falcon here. And uh, I'll get back to this just after Thanksgiving and look to have him done by Christmas. Thanks for watching. See ya.